Hi Cancer, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Cancer, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person. So as usual, we are getting low down about them. Yeah, real, real dirty and real uh, nosy. That's what we do over here. Yeah, we're so nosy that, you know, our nose is super big, right? And you guys know that your nose gets bigger as you age. Did you guys know that? <laughs> I was looking at my nose when I was uh, 20 in a picture the other day, and it is, it's bigger now. It's fatter, and uh, that would be okay if I was born with that nose, but uh, I like it the way it used to look. <laughs> this, your ears get bigger, too, you guys. Yeah, they do. Okay, so pretty soon you look like uh, Dumbo. <laughs> Let's see what we got, you guys. Just having fun over here, okay? Yeah, I still, I still like my nose, all right? It's the only one I have. Let's see what we have for Cancer's person, please. Let's see what we have. But I notice it looks uh, more like uh, the Brazilian side of my family. Okay, yeah, that's how my nose is starting to look. Look more like the Fernandeses every day. All right, let's see what we got. Although uh, my mother is uh, very fair. And that's okay, because uh, I like my skin tone, right? And you, you, yeah, I like the fact that I have uh, ethnic blood, dark blood. Yeah, I do. Let's see what we got for your person. And uh, let's see what we have for Cancer's person. Twin Flames, Yin Yang, and Zen Balance, Union, Duality, Coupling, Complementing Each Other. Cancer, your person, uh, hope that, hopefully they're your Twin Flame, all right? Because this, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Let's keep going before we start uh, kind of um, jumping to conclusions. Passion, Insane, Chemistry, Liking Each Other Equally, and Having Fun. So, Cancer, hopefully this is with you. Because this is, uh, I don't know if this is troubling or not, okay? Maybe you do have passion with somebody. Not enough frustrated in a relationship. You see what I mean? I, I can usually kind of tell what these readings are going. Your person uh, maybe is frustrated in a relationship with you or somebody else, okay? So uh, I'm just reading the cards. Don't shoot the messenger. Let's see what we have for them. This is why we do these readings, though. Because we want to check up on them for you, Cancer. Yeah, we do, because we know that you are kind and compassionate. The water signs are kind. Yeah, they are. Show me the energy for Cancer's person. Yeah. King of Swords. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Your person is in... Uh, they, can't, they can't get enough swords here, all right? That means that they are troubled. Yeah, they are. Probably about a decision. Star card, what's on their mind is sneaky business. They have four swords cards here. In the past, they have the star, maybe they're Aquarius. In the near future, Ten of Cups. In their environment is the Two of Cups. So I'm hoping this is with you, Cancer, but your person looks a little sneaky over here. And over here, they look like they either can't make up their mind or they are troubled about a decision. Yeah, and we're going to leave it there, and we're going to put the uh, the outcome and their desires over there. Let's see what we have for Cancer's person. And they could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Why is that King of Swords there? With the King, right? Yeah. Wow, this this uh, this King of Swords looks just like this uh, Gemini lady I know. I'm not kidding, except she's prettier, of course. Justice card in the reverse could definitely be a Libra here, and the Wheel of Fortune. Cancer, your person is thinking about getting a divorce. King of Swords, Justice in the reverse. They could be a Sagittarian, or they are thinking of divorcing you for a Sagittarian. Wow, this is OMG. Remember these Oracle cards, Cancer. I'm hoping that, you know, this is you, maybe, because deciding to leave them. <laughs> because otherwise, it's a, it's a hard read. The Two of Swords is crossing them, and these are generals, so they can go both ways. They can go two ways. They could, all right? Right now, here in this country, everything can go ten different ways because that's how they want it. They want to confuse us. Everybody think things are, are okay. They're not. Trust me, guys. They have plans. For us, go look up UN21 and look up Tom, D-E-W-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Just go to YouTube and look that one up. There's so many UN21s on there on YouTube. See what he has to say, please. And look up Dr. B-U-T-T-A-R. And if you look at his different videos, Dr. B-U-T-T-A-R, <laughs> 
you're going to find out what's going on. You don't even have to keep going back and do, you know, you don't have to uh, dedicate your life to this stuff, all right? But you need to know what's going on because you are my fellow citizen. So let's see what we got. And in the in the in their crossing energy, sorry, Cancer. They're at some type of a stalemate here about a union or an offer of love. And they're worried over here. I don't know if you have noticed this about your person, Cancer. They are worried. Your person wants to be with somebody here, Cancer, and they're thinking of ending their union with you. But they are like they're experiencing 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 anxiety. Wow, experiencing, experiencing. Yeah, experiencing. <laughs> OMG is the uh, Nine of Swords in their root, right? Why it's all happening. They're struggling with this decision. decision. Sorry, guys, I was going to say situation. And your person definitely could be an air sign because the Queen and the King of Swords is here. And they could also be so much into their head. Remember when I started the reading, the Seven of Swords, the Nine, the Two, and the King. Now we have the Queen up here. This is really interesting because up here, you guys, uh, Cancer, is kind of like where they're at, their state, like and in the past and what's on their mind. And down here is more like, kind of like, up here is what the state they're in, their overall energy, things like that, why it's all happening. And down here is kind of like, the action or what things are going to happen. Yeah. Because this is in their environment, what's happening in their environment. This is their concerns, like where things are going to go or what they want to do. And this is in the near future. So this is really interesting here. Okay, I'm only sharing that with you, uh, Cancer. All right. Yeah, I just want you to know that. <laughs> and in the past is the star card. Why do they have it? Why do they have the star card? And it's next to the Queen of Swords. They were trying to figure out if they wanted to heal it with somebody. The Tower in the reverse and the Devil. And they were in bondage over it. And they could be, you know, they could have been, a, there could be a situation here with the Tower in the reverse. It, it can mean to end something, right? It is not yet to be done. It's in the reverse. I sound like I'm, you know, not yet to be done, like, you know, 200 years ago, kind of the way they used to speak. But. This could be a Scorpio, and it can also be uh, something that is built on a firm on a on a false foundation. The Devil card showing up. They could be a Capricorn. Why is the Devil there? They could be Aquarian, right? I feel like I mentioned that. Page of Cups. In the past, your person didn't know if they wanted to heal it with somebody. This is clear. This is like real clear, right? Yeah, we just kind of wash the windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The water's not very contaminated. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Because, yeah. Let's see what's on their mind. The Seven of Swords. This is what is crowning their thoughts to be precise or exact. All right. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'd like, to, I'd like to be precise. Uh, the Ten of Swords. Look at that. What's on their mind is a sneaky plan. For an ending and a new beginning, God, this talks. This looks like it's political. A sneaky plan for an ending to the world. <laughs> and Ten of Swords, like to end something. And this is a harsh ending. Why is the Ten of Swords there for them? This is what's on their mind. They're, 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 again, they're making a plan here, devising one, creating Knight of Swords to like do this kind of impatiently and cut something out to have the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. And in the near future, they have, they could have heartbreak here, but for me, they have a brand new beginning with somebody who is a third party. Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. This could be saying you're in a family dynamic with them, Cancer, and that that's going to end in heartbreak because they have the Page of Pentacles with somebody else, a new start. And I usually always say these readings can be can be vice versa, and they can. But in this reading, it looks like your person is the suspect one. All right? You guys can't get mad at me. I feel like it's them. Yeah. The three of wands showing up in their concerns. Let's see what they're concerned about. 
with their Seven of Swords energy. Yeah, let's see how concerned they are. <laughs> and uh, we know the Seven of Swords. In case you guys aren't are just listening and not watching, he is the uh, the sneaky guy running away with the swords and trying to cover his tracks at the same time, like looking back, like, oh shit, did anybody see me? Yeah. What's on their mind, or not what's on their mind, but their concerns, which is kind of similar. They want to hold on to somebody here. For me, it's a third party. Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. And remember, the Three of Wands is both a manifestation and an ending both. Yeah. Just like, you know, mm-hmm. Yeah. And in their environment is the Two of Cups. Why is that there for Cancer's person? Hangman in the reverse. Six of Cups. For me, it looks like they're not making a sacrifice because they want somebody from their past. Six of Cups. Somebody who is the Two of Cups to them. Somebody who they, they want to join forces with. Yeah. Somebody here who they think is their twin flame. Remember the, uh, the Oracle card, right? Yeah, it is the Oracle card, the twin flame. These cards are so small that I might like forget they're on the table. Passion, insane chemistry, and also we have not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Your person, and they have jealousy too, you know. They could be jealous of you on some level. But this person is like, I feel like Cancer, you need to like let them go. I feel like in their environment, they, this, this hangman card in the reverse, I feel like they don't want to make a sacrifice because they want to be with somebody from the past. So let's get a card on that Six of Cups. Moon card, that could be you, Cancer. Five of Swords. This is in their environment. This is sabotage. This is sabotaging a union. It could be even you, Cancer. The moon card's right next to the Five of Swords. So we're going to find out about your person, Cancer, because this is why we've come. Yeah, we came to play for that, and we're going to talk about what they want. Yeah, I want to see their outcome. The current dynamic between you guys, how they feel, Cancer, what they're hiding and what they're fearing. Maybe they're not hiding something, but, you know, when the Seven of Swords is what's crowning their thoughts, we know they're hiding things, right? They're hiding and they're plotting. Yeah, they are. And don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate you guys, right? Yeah, I do. I care about everybody out there. And if you guys need your own reading, you can always get one. All the extended readings are super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys.